Hey, eighth graders, it's day 23 um, of AMI. So today you're going to continue to work on your 2020 pandemic journal. Um, but for today, you're just reading section four of article one. Um, the questions you need to focus on today are, what does your neighborhood look like? Are people walking around? How have people's thoughts about travel changed? Do you know anyone that's Plans have changed over maybe even the summer coming up. Have you changed any traveling plans, even if it's just going somewhere within Arkansas, um, somewhere outside of Arkansas? Just let us know. Tell us in your journal um, how it's affected you and other people that you know. Then after you read the article, we want you to consider the following questions. Why do you think some people believed at first Christians were immune to the disease? Um, and then at the bottom, you'll continue working on your Venn diagram to analyze similarities and differences between the Black Death and COVID-19. Um, so for today, to answer those questions regarding the article, we're going to read section four. Um, it says 48 million people died suddenly in 1348 and 1349. Many millions of people died throughout the world. It began first in India and moved west to Tarsus, Turkey, killing Muslims first and then Christians and Jews. The office of the Pope believed that 48 million people died suddenly in those distant countries of Asia, mostly non-Christians, in the space of one year from Easter to Easter. This did not include the death of Christians. When the king of Tarsus, a Muslim, saw the sudden loss of life among his people, he and his nobles set out to travel to the Pope um, in France. They wanted to become Christian and he baptized by, and be by, baptized by the Pope. The king believed that his people were being punished because they had not accepted Jesus Christ as the Son of God. However, when he had completed 20 days of his journey, he heard that the fatal plague had killed many Christians too. So they turned back to the um, they turned back to return to Tarsus, but Christians who had been following the king and his people attacked. They killed 1,312 people um, in France the first day and 400 more on the second. Then this most terrible plague came to the coast of England. It went through Southampton and came to Bristol. The cruel death took just two days to spread and almost the whole town was wiped out. So now that you've read, why do you think some people believe that first Christians were immune to the disease? So that's what you are working on today. Um, good luck and let us know how it goes.